After his crucifixion, Jesus was buried by Joseph of Arimathea in a tomb. Scholars have established the fact of Jesus' burial on the basis of the following evidence. One, Jesus' burial is attested in the very old information handed on by Paul in his first letter to the Corinthians. Paul writes, For I delivered to you as of first importance what I also received, that Christ died for our sins in accord with the Scriptures, and that he was buried, and that he was raised the third day in accord with the Scriptures, and that he appeared to Cephas, then to the Twelve. This old information has been dated to within five years of Jesus' crucifixion. The second line refers to Jesus' burial. Comparison of this four-line formula with the gospel narratives on the one hand and with the sermons in the book of Acts on the other hand reveals that the second line is a summary in outline form of the story of Jesus' burial by Joseph in the tomb. Two. The burial story is part of very old source material used by Mark in writing his gospel. Since Mark is the earliest of the four gospels, his source material goes back even closer to the events of Jesus' life. We thus have very early independent attestation of the burial in both Mark and Paul. Three, as a member of the Jewish court that condemned Jesus, Joseph of Arimathea is unlikely to be a Christian invention. There was an understandable hostility in the early Christian church toward the Jewish leaders who, in Christian eyes, had engineered a judicial murder of Jesus. And thus, according to the late New Testament scholar Raymond Brown, Jesus' burial by Joseph is very probable, since it would be almost inexplicable that Christians would invent a Jewish Sanhedrist who does what is right for Jesus. Four, the burial story lacks any signs of legendary development. Even Rudolf Boltmann, one of the most skeptical scholars of the past century, declared this is an historical account which creates no impression of being a legend apart from the women witnesses. The eminent scholar of the Book of Mark, Vincent Taylor, says that even Boltmann's assessment is a notable understatement the narrative belongs to the best tradition. Five, no other competing burial story exists. If the story of Jesus' burial were a legendary fiction, which arose much later than the original event, then it's strange that we have no traces at all of the real account or even competing legendary stories. The unanimity of the burial traditions speaks in favor of their reliability. For these and other reasons, the majority of New Testament critics concur that Jesus was buried by Joseph of Arimathea in a tomb. According to the late John A.T. Robinson of Cambridge University, the burial of Jesus in the tomb is one of the earliest and best attested facts about Jesus.